Let's get started. Create a new composition. Go to composition, click new. Rename it Mercury. For this composition, I'm using 2000 by 2000 pixels. Frame per second is 30 and duration of this composition is 50 seconds. Click OK. Right click on the timeline and add a white solid layer. Click OK. Go to effects and presets and add a fractal noise effect to this layer. Now change fractal type from basic to threads. And change noise type from soft linear to spline. Check invert box. Change contrast to 367 and change brightness to 65. Add an adjustment layer to the timeline. Go to effects and presets and add CC Mr. Mercury effect to this layer. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to producer. Right wiggle 1, 360. Change velocity to 1.5. Birth rate to 3. Change resistance to 0.2. And extra to 2. Change animation to twirl. Now change blob earth size to 0 and blob death size to 0.5. Create a new composition and rename it to floor. Add a black solid to the timeline. Rename it to BG. Add another black solid and rename it to black. Go to effects and presets and add a grid effect to this layer. Change corner to 1036, 1038. Now change border to 2. Go to project window and drag the mercury composition to the timeline. Change its mode from normal to overlay. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Change its mode from overlay to normal. Go to effects and presets and add a drop shadow effect to this layer. Change opacity to 100%. And change distance to 10. Again duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Delete the drop shadow effect from this layer. Now add an adjustment layer to the timeline. Change its track mat to alpha mat. Go to effects and presets and add a displacement map effect to this layer. Change displacement map layer to first mercury layer. Change max horizontal displacement and vertical displacement value to 10. Now again create a new composition and rename it to final. Change its size to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Go to project window and drag floor composition to the timeline. Make this layer 3D. Press R for rotation. Change its X rotation to 90 degrees. Add a camera layer to the timeline. Rename it to cam. 
Also add a null layer to the timeline. Link null layer to the cam layer. Make null layer to 3D. Change the position of camera using camera tools. Do it as per your need. Now go to camera transform. Press alt button and click stopwatch next to position. Right wiggle 2, 2. Do it same for orientation. Right wiggle 2.6 Go to camera options. Change focus distance to 2666.7 And change aperture to 100. Go to null layer. Move the timeline to 0 seconds. And click stopwatch next Y rotation. Now move the timeline to 50 seconds. And change Y rotation to 1, 0. Add a point light to the timeline. Rename it as light. Change intensity to 500%. And also change fall off to inverse square clamped. Change radius to 500. Go to light transform. Change position to 880, 460 and 0. Now add adjustment layer to the timeline. Rename it to CC. Go to effects and presets and add a curves effect to this layer. Change color channel as per your need. Again add an adjustment layer to the timeline. Rename it to blur. Add a curves effect to this layer. And change its RGB value. Also change the mode of this layer from normal to screen. Now add a fast box blur to this layer. Change its blurriness to 80. And iterations to 1. Check repeat edges. Duplicate this layer. Now change the blurriness to 160. Play the animation now. That is folks for today. I hope you like my video. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it. Thank you and have a nice day.